Hey everybody, today we're gonna to jump into Fusion 360 and I'm gonna show you how I add ribs or rings around fishing lures using a new technique I discovered that makes it a lot easier than the previous techniques I used. So let's hop into the computer. So here is one of the final results I got using this technique. It's uh, pretty darn cool. We're gonna be going over how you do this um, using the pipe command that is in the form menu, create form over here. Okay, so we'll go over the basic technique before. I've covered this in a previous video, but it was uh, pretty rambling and incoherent at the time. Uh, so we have just our normal, this is my basic kind of paddle tail model. This will work with any body that you want to uh, use. It uh, doesn't really, really matter. So once you have your, your body in place here, you want to go to the side profile of it and we're going to create a new sketch and we're gonna create it on this um, side plane here. And now we want to draw the lines that are going to represent uh, the ribs, if you will, or whatever features you want. So we're gonna start off with a very, very basic um, one with just straight up and down lines. So we create a line and when you go to draw this line, you wanna make sure that it goes above the uh, above and below the body of the lure at the widest point. Now you can draw all these individually, but the way I'm going to do it is since we're just doing a straight line, I'm going to draw the line here and it doesn't matter how um, far it goes past, just as long as it goes past. And then we're going to just create a rectangular pattern. We're going to click that. We're going to drag this out. And then I just like to Go over here and click and bump up the number until it looks reasonable. 11 is going to be good. Click OK and finish sketch. So this is basically where our ribs are going to be. Now the next thing we do is we're going to create another sketch on that same exact plane. And what we want to do is click Create, go down to Project Include and project to surface. Now over here, it is going to ask us for a surface. We're gonna select our lure body. Curves, we're gonna hit select and it's easy to just um, click and drag from right to left and it will select them all. And instead of closest point, we want a long vector and then we're gonna come over here, I'm rotating it and this, you want to click the origin line that is going across uh, left and right to your lure. Boom. And as soon as you do that, you have to say boom, by the way, uh, you'll see these circles, red circles appear around your lure. And that is where our pipes or our ribs are going to form. And so it's a good check to make sure you're doing everything correctly to uh, make sure those look right and uh, just click OK and click Finish Sketch. So now, for some reason, Fusion likes to leave these sketches on. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. And you'll see I have these pink lines that are my projections around my lure body. Now, in the old way, just to um, show you here, we'd, we'd go to Create, Pipe, we'd click on that guy, uh, we'd come over here, click our the size that we wanted, and we click whether we wanted to cut. So you could cut out or join if we wanted to be part of it. Click OK, and then we'd have to go along and do each and every one of these just like that. It gets rather tedious, obviously, with a larger bait. But what we're going to do today is we're going to go to Create Form, and then we create a pipe. And this is a totally different pipe command. Uh, one thing, uh, it has its pluses and minuses, and we'll get into the great pluses um, in the next example. But right now, you know, the biggest plus is I can click on one, and by default, it's a 20 millimeter and it's square, a box. Pipes are box. So, you can make this whatever size you want. One millimeter is generally what I go with. 
And then you want to click on this smooth display piece. And that's where you're going to get the round pipe. Now you might be like, dude, that's the same as we did last time. But the magic is this path, I can just click all of them. I can even click and drag all of them. And that saves just absolute tons of time. And you can change, you don't really need to change anything else here, uh, you know, segments, etc. if you're just doing basic circles. And just click OK, and you have all of your rings. Now, one thing this does is it creates a bunch of bodies. Once I do that, I just click Finish Form. And we got them all there. You can see they line up perfectly. Over here, I've generated a ton of bodies, as you can see. And I just need to combine those together. So I just click Combine. I click my main body for my tool, uh, my target body. Tool bodies, I like to come over here and click body two, hold down the shift key, click body 12, and click OK. We just want to make sure new component is not selected and keep tools is not selected. We don't need to keep these around. And click OK, and boom, you now have rings. Now that is, you know, marginally better than the way we used to do it. But let me show you how I found this method or, or what kind of drove me to this particular method. And I, I had this, um, I wanted to do angled ribs, right? So something along these lines where you have, I'm going to draw a line. I'm going to start here. I'm going to go to about here and go to there, right? Kind of a, I don't know what kind of shape you want to call that, right? We'll do our rectangular pattern like we did before. We got to select both of the top and bottom. Make sure you do that. Let's do about eight of them. Move that down to kind of the center there. All right. All right, click on create, project include, project to surface. You gotta select both the top and the bottom again. Now this is where the traditional pipe command fails pretty miserably, right? If I select, I can't select select both of these and if I click on OK you'll see oops let me go back and edit that real quick uh, and do a join here okay and you see we have this kind of weird funky edge and depending on how much angle you have in your shape this will actually separate and won't be together um, and so with the pipe command in the form editor, not only can we, oh, and by the way, you got to click on these before you can change this to circles. Like it's super, super duper annoying. But you can see this intersection here is much, much more natural, right? It's a nice, nice curve kind of exactly what you want done there finish form and then we just join our body back just like we did before right and now you have this cool pattern here now that's pretty cool and that looks nice and natural right but you can do even cooler things with this let's use a curve fit point spline in this case All right, and we're going to create another rectangular pattern. Both of these curves. So I, I just pulled it until it basically lined up. Probably I can get a little bit closer there. Okay. And instead of extent, I'm going to turn it to spacing. And that's going to be my distance. 
and then I just add my copies and then they're all going to be together. That looks good. Click OK. Finish sketch. I won't bother you with the projection. We already know how to do that. Okay, so now you see you have this kind of different pattern. Uh, I don't want to say scales, but uh, you know, very similar uh, to scales. And if I used a traditional pipe command here and um, hit join, right? Again, I can only select one of these at a time. And if I do another one, whoops, turn my sketch back on. It's another annoying thing. All right, if I do another one there, click join, you get a very weird, not so great result. Okay, so I'm just gonna hit Control Z to get back, to undo those. And let's go do our form pipe. And this is where it really gets cool. So we're gonna create a pipe. I, I like to select one and turn this circle thing on and then select them all. Right, and you get a much more natural joining curve. You can make this as complicated as you want. I will say, you know, the more lines and curves that you get past, if you will, the, the slower uh, fusion will gonna, is gonna be. It's gonna create more objects and, and more bodies and get mad at you. It, uh, it's pretty cool. So you just finish form. Oop, it failed to convert. Self intersecting surface, it's right here. Okay, so it did not like that one. So this is obviously one of the downsides you can run into. It, it will create invalid geometry that you will need to go in and fix, which can be a bit fiddly. Okay, so let's brute force this problem. We're gonna say finish form. It's gonna give us the error on this guy right here. So we're gonna click return. Then we're just going to come in here and select this guy, delete him, and then we will recreate him. We will create singular bodies here. See if that helps. That fixed it. You know, it will generate obviously um, non-conformant geometry, but there's ways around that. Guys, I hope you find that pipe technique super, super simple. If you wanna see a longer video about how I've added details to my lures, you can click right here. And all of my tutorials about making molds, etc., are in this playlist right here. Take care, Tyler.